orange juice aerobics. I'm gonna divide today's video into two parts. Cause I had to take a little break just a second and go after that 400. I wanted to tie my 400 cause I haven't run a decent time in a couple weeks. I ran a 114 in the rain the other day, but I just wanted to time it just now. And my body started locking up though. The last 100 meters, my body literally started to like lock up, which is a crazy feeling. I would almost compare it to like being really drunk where at the end of your run, whether it be a sprint or a long run, where your body's just telling you stop, stop, stop. And you know, you gotta just push through, you know, your brain sending all these nerves, nerves out. And it, it's a weird feeling, it's euphoric in some ways. But long story short, my body just tightened up and almost quit on me. That last 50 meters, I'm telling myself, sprint, 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 finish. And my body's like, no. <laughs> and that's, that's a crazy feeling too. But I love sprinting. And that's why I love it though, is because it isn't, it isn't easy. It's very hard. And it's very painful. Um, but I just ran a 110, 111. That's not bad. That's right around my best time. So all I gotta do is really finish a little stronger, start a little quicker. I'll cut those five seconds, I'll hit my goal. But for now, just keep grinding. I love when I run like that, and it's almost good when you get to the end and your body starts to quit on you or lock up, because then next time when I do it, that's how you get faster, is your body will say, he's gonna run that hard so we can't quit on him again. And then next time I do it, maybe I'll be able to power through that last 50 feet. Because I came through, I almost came through the end running my, my best time, but that last 50 feet got me. But okay, long story short, I had to take a break after that, and now I'm gonna do the dots and divide this video up into two parts, and that'll be orange juice aerobics today. But moral of that story is, even if you don't always run the best time, it's good to push yourself to the point where your body starts quitting, because that's how you get in better shape, that's how you get faster. A lot of people think it's impossible to get faster. It's not impossible to get faster, it just hurts a lot. And like, you see some of the best sprinters in the world, they're throwing up after their workouts. I mean, you gotta push yourself to a limit that feels almost psychotic to get really fast. And speed is just as important as strength. Like, I've worked on my strength for years, but my speed is just as important as strength, staying lean, being in good form, having a good shape, that's all part of being fast. And sprints go into, go into your shape, your body shape. So it's important, it's, in, it's an important exercise. And in my opinion, it's good to fail. It's good to go to a point to push yourself to a level where your body straight up fails. And mentally, it's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling because it hurts so bad, but it's a good pain. And it, it, it's, it's really a sign of mental toughness to run through it too. But okay. I'm gonna do the dots now, and that'll be orange juice aerobics today. One eleven isn't bad though. A lot of people think one ten is really slow too. One ten's not bad. It could be a lot worse. Let's just put it that way. Not in my McDonald's All-American shorts. Not in my McDonald's All-American shorts. We repping hard out here today. Ain't nothing can stop me. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. You gonna need an army, seven Chaldean families, and a, and a tank to stop this train. Let's just do five with one leg. Sometimes too, when, when I run sprints and I do the dots, I just do five with one leg. Woo!
All right. Woo! And that'll be orange juice aerobics for today. We're getting bigger though. We're getting there.